Hi friends, hope you are fine. Today let us understand different parts of microscope and their function within 3 to 5 minutes. Micro means tiny or minute like microorganisms. Scope means to view or to observe. So it's an instrument that is used to observe tiny objects like microorganisms that cannot be seen with our naked eyes. Let's begin with the optics of the compound microscope. Starting with eyepiece. Eyepiece is located at the tip of the microscope as you see. It is used to view objects through the microscope. We place the specimen on the stage and view using this eyepiece. That's why it is called as eyepiece. It's also called as ocular. Eyepiece has a lens. The magnification may be 5x, 10x or 15x. 5x means 5 times magnified. The second part is the objective. It's made up of 3 to 5 optical lens of varying magnification. Magnification may be 10x, 40x or 100x. It is very easy to calculate the magnification of an object under the microscope. Suppose we have placed a specimen on the stage and viewing using 5x eyepiece and 10x objective. Then the magnification is the product of magnification of eyepiece and objective. That means 5x into 10x that is 50x magnification. Hope you are clear. The third part is the illumination mirror. This mirror has two sides, a plane mirror and a concave mirror. Plane mirror is commonly used when the light is far away from the microscope, like daylight. And concave mirror is used when there is artificial light that is very near to this microscope. Then the illumination will be better with this concave mirror. There is a diaphragm just below the stage that controls the amount of light that reaches the specimen. The next part is the nose piece. As you see, nose piece holds the objective lenses so it can be rotated. This is low power, middle power and high power. Next part is the specimen stage. It is a platform upon which we place the slide with our specimen. The next one is the stage clip. Stage clip holds the slide in place. As you see, we can tilt this. Stage clip helps to keep that slide intact without changing the position. Once we have placed the specimen, on this stage, then we will be viewing through the eyepiece using the low power. Then we will be using this course adjustment, this big knob that is rotated that moves this body tube up and down to find and focus the image. First we will be using this low power. And this is followed by the use of fine adjustment or fine focus. This fine focus knob helps to focus sharper or for focusing finer details of specimen. After fine focus, we can rotate this nose piece to the next power to see the object in a much better magnification. And the next part is the body tube. This is the body tube. This body tube is a part that connects the eyepiece to the objective. It has eyepiece on the top part and this nose piece with objective lens on the bottom part. So this is actually a hollow tube. The light that is reflects from the mirror reaches a specimen, passes through the specimen and it passes through the objective lens and passes through this body tube, a hollow tube and finally reaching this eyepiece. Next part is the arm. So this is the arm that connects this head part with eyepiece and objective to this base part. Also helps in holding this microscope properly. And the final part is the base. Base is a bottom part of the microscope that provides support to the microscope. In modern compound microscopes, we have artificial light illumination that is often included in the base region of the microscope. We have prepared a worksheet and also a multiple choice quiz on this topic. The link is in the description. You can refer that also. Hope you are benefited from this video. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.